What's up guys? Uh, my name is Leon from Zarms Metal Detecting South Africa and welcome back to the channel. Um, I am in Cape Town, South Africa today, um, a long way from home, um, but I'm out this side for, for work and um, yeah, I just got off of work, uh, checked into my guest house and uh, I got a few things together and now I'm on my way to go and meet John um, from yeah, MDSA, John from Metal Detectors South Africa. Um, I phoned him up, phoned him up uh, in the week and uh, I said, listen, I'm going to be in Cape Town. Uh, do you want to get together? I'd like to come by the shop, have a look, have a chat um, and see maybe we can go out for a hunt. So he said, yeah, for sure. Um, let me know when you're yeah, here. Let me know if you have time. And uh, I did that. So I am on my way to him now. I'm about 30 minutes out. And uh, yeah, we can have a bit of a chat, maybe gear up and get out somewhere to a place and go do some detecting. So very excited, um, yeah, fun times. In Cape Town, I'll show you guys some scenery on my way there. Cool. Right guys, so as you can see behind me, there we are, we're at MDSA. So uh, let's go in and uh, meet the guys, meet John, and uh, yeah, we'll be out uh, doing a bit of a dig in a few minutes. Hey guys, how's it going? John, yeah man, nice to be here. How's it guys, team, everybody busy? Sorry, uh, I'm putting you guys on the spot on some camera work. So everyone, this is hey? Liam from Zox. Yeah. <laughs> You've been yeah. watching all these videos. Now every, everybody's uh, pretending to work, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, everything's yeah, so cool? This is, this is our little spot here. Uh, as you can see, we've got all the Nocta and the XP going. Yeah, nice. Nice one. Yeah. Have a look at some of the gear. See, this has just come in new, these big Nocta backpacks. Yeah, backpacks. Just like that, and then the holsters. You can see your holsters are over here. Team Zarks' holsters are ready to go. Leg holsters. Ah, nice. These are for the pinpointers, yeah? Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Some scoops, some spades, some picks, pickaxes. Yeah, lots of uh, gold detectors. All the Three. mini and mini hordes over here. Yeah, nice one. And here are all the orders ready to go out to the customer. Being connected okay. today. Awesome, man. Right, guys, so uh, we're going to go for a bit of a dig in a few minutes, and uh, John's promised me some epic fans. If not, uh, we'll be back picking up some free stuff. So, uh -huh. we'll see you guys on the fans. Right, guys, so I'm out. You can see we're getting ready. John is assembling uh, his machine, and uh, yeah, I'm just about done. Um, so, have a look behind me. We had a spot. Um, yeah, some stuff happened here. We're going to see if we can save some history, a lot of cartridges, some pennies, coins, and uh, yeah, man, we'll just see how it goes. So, once I'm on the fans, I'll, uh, whoops, almost died. I'll show you guys. Cool. Okay, bit of an 82 over here. It's my first target. Sounds a bit loud see completely different soil not normally the range that we dig in but it's nice and solid sound it's in this grass and it looks like maybe a piece of lead out over there no it's a bullet cartridge 
So what we've been finding or what John's been finding in this area it's another blank you can see the flower over there and uh, yeah head stamp rural laboratories um, this however looks like a different mark so let's give us a quick brush yeah so this is different rural laboratories it is a blank but it's a mark 2 so it's a bit older and uh, yeah first decent target nice little blank ground so I was telling John that these blanks were normally used as uh, training horses and that uh, back in the day so definitely an older cartridge awesome first target in Cape Town lacquer man I've got a nice little 91 you can just hear how soft it is so I'm going to see if I can get in here uh, it might be not be that deep let's see Without, without hurting it what is that hey definitely old piece of copper or brass you can see the patina on there but I have no inkling what that could be so I just nicked it there but yeah it's a something if you guys know you let me know cool so I've got a nice bang of a signal over here 7980 it's a bit close to a tree so normally means someone could have set you and you know dropped a bottle cap but um, you never know let's have a look Nice piece of harmonica reed right under the tree. Very cool. So I find plenty of these, obviously not in Cape Town, but yeah, someone might have sat right under this tree and uh, lost or taken out and broken one of their harmonica reeds. Very cool find. Awesome. So right over here, I've took out uh, another piece of harmonica reed it's under that tree there where I recorded that first piece and I think yeah it's probably the rest of that harmonica reed that I'm picking up over here let's see yep it's another piece hey carry on like this uh, I might just find the whole bloody harmonica so yeah awesome alright guys John says he's got something lacquer let's go have a look 
get out of the sun. This was a surface find right over there. And yeah. immediately I thought it was a coin, but I'm looking at it and it's extremely, extremely thin, but it's printed on both sides. It does look to me like it could be a coin. Yeah, it's very thin, hey? It is very thin. Could be a token. I need to make up what it says there. Yeah, maybe we can give it a bit of a clean. Yes. And see if we can see what it looks like. It's interesting. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Interesting find. Not sure exactly what it is, but we'll check it out now. So I've just started to open up this plug. And I've got a very, very faint signal Ugh. and some rocks of course no live dig is a live dig without rocks stopping you so uh, yeah sounds very deep but it's a nice 80s low 90s I'm trying to get in here See if I grab the pointer. There we are. See, just popped out. Another harmonica reed. This one a little bit more complete. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Chris, you want to come and have a look? So, not too well. Another harmonica reed, but this one a little bit more fuller. So, uh, sorry for this hand. There's my glove hand. Nice. So I found that other piece right over here somewhere. Found more two pieces right up there by the tree. And uh, found this piece right next to the road. So lacquer. Nice piece of history. So very nice deep. 84, 85, 92, 94, 93. Again, very similar to that harmonica reeds, but what I'm used to, man, could be anything. But yeah, I just don't know this area, I don't know the ground, and uh, yeah, signals. I mean, that last harmonica reed I picked up at close to 40 centimeters. You guys saw how I was plowing the sand out of that hole. And now the signal is ghosting on me. Which means you have the signal, you hear the signal, you dig the signal, and then you lose the signal. feel something over there. Don't know if it's a piece of metal. No. Is this? No. Whatever it is, it's out. It's giving me a 91. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, it's a coin. Is it a coin? Let's call Chris and him over. Um, Chris, 
You guys are done. Come and have a look here. So I'll wait for them to get over here. And uh, then I'll pull it out. It might be junk. It might be a modern coin. I don't know. But just in case, it might be something cool. So it was very deep. At least 25 centimeters. Can you guys see that? Oh, wow. This is not on Leon. <laughs> so, I don't want to say it is, but it looks like it's silver, boys. What? Yeah, so I can just see the silver sixpence coming through there. So, turn the camera away, Chris. I'm going to do something terrible. Just going to wet it a little bit. Sorry for those watching. I don't mean to rub it. No. There is. I can't believe you're finding the silver. Well done. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of mud on it. So we're gonna have to. Uh, sorry, guys, for being gross. This is how we do it in the field. Spit and polish. Spit and polish. Yeah. So okay, we're not gonna get much cleaner than that. Yeah. It's not that old. But it does look like a 1938 South African sixpence. Wow, let's have a look now. Here's George, who's bust at the back. Wow. Nice piece of silver. This is the first time I've seen a silver coin ever. Really, eh? Yeah. On your site? Yeah, well, yeah, in the Western Cape for me. <laughs> for me. Yeah, nice little silver. I'm going to send you back to Gauteng. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you don't have enough up there. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Well ah. done. So what did that no, mean? No, lekker man. Um, it was actually very deep, so it was coming in a bit of an iffy signal. Um, so that's what it was sounding like, right like that. On your deep program. On the deep program. So you listen for those. And I figured, because of the sand, this, it's a very sandy sand, yeah, yeah. you know. So I figured targets would be really deep and the, do, the good targets will be really deep. So that's the sound that I was going for. And um, it was jumping in the low 80s to every now and again a sweet spot to a 94 wow. um, which is which is that silver range so what do you reckon the history is here then silver would that have just been guys camp well I mean out here yeah there's a footpath or, or a road I mean these trees are, are quite old it could be anything you know it could be again this could be very much related to the post boer war rounds that we've been finding yes. um, like I said uh, first and second world war mm -hmm. and that would be spot on with those blanks so it could be from people coming here picnicking it could be people just you know walking this road it could be people coming to picnic by the river yeah. you just you just never know so, so for us obviously silver is quite scarce and it's quite special in those days silver would have been every day just a common coin uh, not necessarily a common coin silver it was actually quite valuable okay. so losing a sixpence like this could have been you know losing your wages yeah, uh, wow. which is which is quite hectic yes. yeah so um, yeah I mean I figured these little flat spots that we on yeah and like I said that side I mean Chris was with me yeah I found probably about three or four pieces of harmonica reed in about 20 20 meter radius so, so we have got a good spot here. yeah so this is a very nice mm. spot but um, yeah, nice. so this gives it a, a bit of a date, nice. 1933 awesome. or 38. Well done, Leon. Let's yeah, give lekker, you a Zorps fist pump. <laughs> Cheers, go. guys. Thanks a lot. Well done. Right, guys, so we're done for the day. John, was awesome being with you. Thanks yeah. so much for the invite. It was lekker, man. It was good meeting uh, with you. Yeah, showed me your spot and uh, I think I, I got some, some goodies, my first goodies ever, yeah. um, this side of the world. I'm sending you back to Gauteng. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough funds there for you to come and find some Yeah, here, no, for sure. So we only had a couple of hours, but it was uh, absolutely, absolutely worth it. So yeah, guys, like always, if you haven't joined Team Zarp, subscribe below and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hey, cheers, John. There you go. Thanks. Wow. Cheers, cheers.